Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome back to Let's Play Baroque. I guess I'm pulling an all-nighter, because Delirious is reading fan fictions, which is never good for me. No, I'm just kidding. Fan fictions are, people like those, but I'm not a big fan of them. If I want to read something, I'm probably going to read a technical manual or something. Although, reading weird religious texts is surprisingly one of those things that I enjoy doing. If I had time, I'd get the Book of Zoaster on my hands, but I can't. But then again, there's the internet. I could probably find it somewhere. I've just been lazy. And what do you say now? We can't return. It doesn't matter what Eliza does. No matter how many consciousness orbs she bears, we can't return! Ugh! I can't believe we were torn apart! Come on. Even though the Archangel can't move, he hasn't given up. He's still manipulating the consciousness orbs to control the believers. Alright, I'm getting sound junk, so hold on. Yes, I know, you're you're fussy. There we go. Now there should be almost... Uh, when you reset it like that, it's usually pretty helpful. I'm so glad. I mean, honestly, like, older systems, like, in general, now that PS2 is getting older, I really do miss the PS2 era. It really was like a changing of the guard, and it was a really good era for video games and gamers. Like, I mean, it allowed a lot of new genres of games to be explored. It allowed even bad games to be have some modicum of being decent. Like, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 were really, really good systems, and they had a lot of really good games, and a lot of very different games. I don't know, like, I always liked TurboGrafx and Sega Genesis, especially Sega CD, and, you know, I'm not as much of a Nintendo person. I own Nintendo systems, but I usually can't play them by myself. I'm just like, uh, like, I don't know. Like, I like multiplayer games, but... And online games, but... I don't know. There's nothing quite like a good, like, challenging, fun-to-play game that eats up a good amount of time. Like, a lot of people are interested in, like, portable gaming <clears throat> and mini games and stuff like that. And, like, I grew up in arcades, and I, like... Like, most of them were, like, plotless, like, ninjas kidnap the president kind of shit. And there's only so many times you can have ninjas kidnap the president and beat up like a thousand of the same looking guys before you get kind of bored of it. And some mini games can be fun, um, or at least time wasters. But I don't know. Like, I didn't like Angry Birds very much. I played that, and it was okay. Like, Delirious loves Cut the Rope for her iPhone. Which is, like, an interesting game, but, like, I don't know. It just, it feels the same all the time. <clears throat> like, the puzzles just get harder, but there's not enough rewards for your, you know, actions and the time spent. So it's like, meh. Alright, this is a big loop. Big loop is stupid. Alright, let's go back. Wait, do I sell port bones? Fuck yeah, port bones. All the rest of the things are downstairs, which there's totally stairs behind me, but I like taking the long way, apparently. But, uh... I don't know. I, I felt like the, the price plus the length of most games for it made it worth it. And... I don't know. Like, I've always liked, you know, games that made you think a little bit when you played it. Like, 
I never really felt like that when I played, you know, a lot of Nintendo games. I felt like, oh, more jumping and hopping. Oh, more of this, more of that. And it didn't interest me all that much. So, what are you? Mystery fluid. Like my bed sheets. No, it's kidding. I know where those fluids came from. But, uh... I don't know. And, like... The kind of cutesy characters and stuff never really appealed to me. I mean, granted, Sega's attempt at, like, badass, hip, cool characters is not that great. But, like, I could sit down and play the hell out of Toe Jam and Earl, and I played a lot of Toe Jam and Earl. And I, I liked it a lot, but there really wasn't an equivalent on Nintendo. And I really liked, like, Fantasy Star and stuff like that, and it wasn't until Super Nintendo that you started seeing a lot of those. Like, the original Fantasy Stars are freaking awesome. And, you know, the original Final Fantasy is nice and all, but it lacks this kind of worldly feel, um, I guess as to say. <clears throat> like, a lot of the enemies in Fantasy Star kind of make sense why you'd be fighting them, but, like, killing squirrels for swords for like three hours and like over excessive grinding which is like the I mean should be Final Fantasy's trademark um, is really irritating to me like granted I like the Shin Megami games and they require a lot of grinding but usually their grinding at least is like to a purpose you're not grinding to get levels you're grinding to be able to use fire magic you know, I know you do have to level up in Final Fantasy, it's just like, you get a reward for your grinding in Digital Devil Saga, where, as I feel, <clears throat> and even in Fantasy Star, there's rewards for amounts of grinding that you have to do, usually, like, you get better drops from enemies, um, and other great games that seem to be passed over all the time, like Shining in the Darkness and stuff like that. Like. I've always felt that those games, to me, were more interesting because you're always kind of... You're running on the Razor's Edge, and the Razor's Edge wasn't... Fuck. I need that. Get back here. I need my angelic rifle. Of course. I really don't want to eat a seed. Crap. Thank you for blowing me away just at the right time. Nice. Still not enough. Uh, let's throw out these. Thank you. Thought I hit the... Is everything going to happen to slow my game down right now? Is that what's going on? Freaking bastards. Alright. Get back here, Cursebringer Angel. I have shit I have to give to you. Ooh, idle Parasite. That is kind of nice, but I'd rather fuse it with another Parasite. Keeping the twin box, keeping... I don't know what these bones are, so you have them. I don't want to cook. 
It's a zero, too. I don't know what code is a zero, but that's no good. Vitality sword, garbage. And a poor boom here. Poison damage taken. Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, this has turned out to be a good run, and somehow I'm poisoned. I don't know what that is either. I really need to get that identified. So, first thing is the toy box, then the crystal sword. Let's get marrow bones. Give me another seed. Thank you. Give me a twin box. Right now. Or a frost sword, whatever. Alright, I'm feeling much better now. Inventory has been shrunk slightly. Very slightly. I just hate carrying our valuable cargo. Well, anyway, uh, getting back to what I was talking about. Um, I've always appreciated, like, the kind of art that was put into, like, things like Sega CD games and stuff like that. Like, Lunar is a perfect example of just this wealth of a world and, like, a wealth of the art, and they really thought about the characters. Like, Joe and Mac? Mm, not really much thinking there. That's like... Like they're trying to sell you an idea instead of putting a world out there and hoping you enjoy it. Like, it's a, it really is the difference between Devil May Cry and Devil May Cry 2. You know, uh, Devil May Cry 2 was like, look, it has Dante, buy it. But in reality, it was crap. Uh, no, where's the rock bone? I mean, I should kill her. Oh, you. You're getting the rotten bone. Yes, they only really come at you when your back is turned. Because they're bitches like that. No, get up there. After this episode, I probably should get something to eat. I don't know, I mean, even, like, junky games, like, in in many ways, I feel like on PlayStation, we're significantly better than, like, moderate games for Nintendo 64. Like, I know it's not fair to a lot of people be like, don't compare N64 to PlayStation, they're totally different things. You know, or, but then they'll be like, oh, the SNES was better than the Genesis. It's like, well, the Genesis was made to be competition for the NES. They just came out with a bigger system. You know? Like, that doesn't... Like, I don't know, it's not the same thing, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, one's 16-bit, one's 32-bit. Obviously, there's a difference. Like, But I don't consider, like, Sega Genesis and like... SNES to be direct rivals. Like, yes, the Genesis went on for a long time. Where did you go? To count that way, but like... I was playing Genesis way long before, and even like Master System, way before... Like, Sega, or before SNES came out. So it's like, man. Alright, I think I need one more Rotten Bone. I do. I just wanted, didn't want him to be standing on the port when it happened. Alright. I thought I had an extra... Uh, yeah, I have two fleshes. I don't know what they are, but I'll eat them. Yeah, I'll eat them right now. Good shit. Good, Guryu. Uh, bad one. Ha <laughs> ha Take that, rotten food. I have an injection of special. Oh, that sounds wrong. 
Curse bringer, I have rotten meat for you to purify. I know you love purifying stuff. There you are. So you gotta call out to him. Let him know you're there. For him to do his damn job. F and A. That's awesome. Mm. Num num nums. Num num nums. Alright, I don't need a frost sword. Get the fuck out of here. And I... Whatever that sword is, it's fucking beastly. It's probably cursed, though. You had to be that way, didn't you? Oh, this arm brand. Huh? I think that destroys the box, but... Prevents it from exploding. Alright, I have a stubborn. Yeah, I'll give him the disarm. Because I don't think it gives you what you want uh, when you use it. Eh, glass wings, that's not so bad, but. Yeah, it could get better. Alright, let's just leave this floor. I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. If I need to, I'll use the glass wings. I highly doubt I will. I'll probably just save them for the next time or something to throw out. And also, I played when I played a lot of Turbo Graphics 16. I always thought like how much better the the like quality of games were versus even Genesis. Like, the quality of their games, in terms of even graphical quality, there's very few glitches or bugs. Like, the sound was usually very clear and defined. Like, the controls were almost never sleepy. I, the only one I can ever think of is Yo Bro. But... That one's only sleepy because it's supposed to be, like, pseudo-physics involved in the game. And they don't work very well. And also, it's not like they capitalize on the overall. But, like, the Turbo Graphics and Duo games were gorgeous. And they were way ahead of their time with most of their stuff. So. Yes, I'm applying the runaway tactic to them. Don't laugh. You do the same. Don't hit me. Son of a bitch. Alright, are these identified? Yes. I mean, I'm not. Can't go down there. What are you? Ugh, another exposure coat? I was always worried that I'd, like, put on the exposure coat and then he'd, like, get naked. But no, he just wears his base outfit. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not going to try it because I don't think you can take. Oh, well, it takes itself off. I mean, it is identified. Looks pretty cool, though. Where is an enemy? I thought I heard an enemy, but I don't see him. All I hear is slowly lagging sound. Grr. See? That's all it does. So, essentially it's worthless because if an enemy hits you or gets near you, it, you automatically take it off, which is just freaking weird. I guess most of it is like, a, oh, look how strong this coat is. And then you actually put it on and you find that's worthless. It's probably the only decent use for a glue brand, probably. Ooh, hope fluid. I 
didn't identify myself. I don't think it does. Uh, One hit killed you. More hope wings. Uh, I'm just like wrecking their day. But then again, I have put a lot of attack fluid into my sword. So that helps. I was kind of glad to get that lucky parasite last time. Ugh, and yet, yeah, bringing back parasites are annoying because parasites are rare enough as items. It's worse. Good. Go away, confusion. Um, it's worse when you're trying to find really rare parasites or really useful parasites. Especially for if you're going to fill out all the items, it's a huge pain. In my opinion, it's like... That's where it just becomes taxing, because each run you hope you get that item or whatever, but I mean, once you can split toy boxes or other items, then it's not so bad. You can at least find, like, the rarest of rare items. Or don't-haves, for that matter. I mean, right now, don't-haves aren't the greatest for me to open, just because I don't have much, like, filled out, so most of the stuff in my thing I probably be stuff I want, like silver bones and stuff like that. I think the first time I ever got a gold bone was through a don't have box. But that's because I had like just about everything, but I'd never gotten a gold bone. Also I rarely use twin boxes, so that doesn't help either. I would check my music pl or my sound plugin or restart everything, but then my stupid thing would get fussy about it. All right, next floor. I think it's also because I start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, do I have anything? Oh, I have an invincible bone. You were supposed to die in one hit. Ooh, summon? I'm going to pause the video real quick. Okay. Ooh, and I got an attack parasite and a hope box. Uh, I wish I had a disarm. And this one's fused with myself as well. Vital attack. Yeah. Healing brand, vital parasite, attack. This is already trying out to be great. Another hope box. Which of course blows up on me and almost fucking kills me. Recovery box. I would have been pissed if I died right there too. I'd have been like, oh. Nothing else appeared. I should always save a summon just so that way if I get another heart or, you know. Oh, you jerk! You did that on purpose. Oh, cheerio. I didn't know the fat ladies dropped meat. You do have enough of it. it. Falls out of the rolls. That's where I keep my armpit ham. 
What's the matter, boy? Take the ham out your ears. That is not okay to say to him. Uh, I do have ham in my ears. I don't in any way hate fat people. I just hate the ones that blame other people for their obesity. Like, uh -huh. I didn't know that eating at McDonald's every day of the week was going to make me fat and give me coronary disease. Be like, really? Really, you didn't know that. You didn't know that eating cheeseburgers. What's that squirming inside your body? Oh, a parasite, huh? Well, you should coexist successfully somehow. What a wonderful tidbit. I think the other one is like, what have you done to yourself? That mark you have for branding. She also makes a really funny comment if you're in lust mode. This world's screwed up enough. Do you really need spikes jutting out of the walls? Does the indicator button really need to be that big? I don't know. I'm always for people taking responsibility for their own things. Just in general. And, I don't know. It's like seeing people that are like, complain about, you know, things like dirty needles from heroin and stuff like that. It's like, you know, it's just common sense not to do certain things. And if you didn't know them, either you had bad parents, or you just don't bother to read or notice the rest of the world going by you. I mean, there are a few things that I understand. But, like, a lot of people who'd be like, I only drink this coffee because it's organically grown. It's like, how do you know it's actually organically grown? Have you looked into the company? Have you looked at this? And they're like, well, they say they are. It's like, well, I'm the king of the universe. Now, do you believe me? Most of the answer is, no, I don't believe you. And then it's followed with, so you believe a coffee bag more than you believe me. And then I do a silly dance. But someday, they'll learn the truth about me. No, most likely not. I usually don't hang around with people like that. Sight is what? Blindness? Blindness and lust? Alright, I'll hold on to that for a little bit. I see you, fake wall. They don't give any mention in the manual or anything that there are fake walls, so you really have no way of knowing that those are fake walls, unless you slash at them. And slashing at them is not saying I prefer. That's the other thing. A lot of people... <sighs> Please tell me I have another set of hope wings. Oh, I do. Good. Uh, no. In here. Oof. That almost hit me. I'm not stepping on that food thing again. I have too much valuable cargo to let it go like that. Yeah, now I'm owning you goddamn little devil things. But, let's see. Nope. So that's not a twin box. Oh, it's a hungry chest. Chest gone now? Good. Uh, 
back here, you little shit. There's only one way you can run. And that's back into me. This is a dead end over there. And there's no other way out. Oh, correction, there is another way out. No frog bar. I wish I had shoulder pads that were gigantic frog heads. Why are you all reappearing? What have I done to you? Other than completely screw the world. But that's no reason to be so mad at me. I really should find the switch to switch this away from being a frozen world so we can do the other one. No ceiling. Many seeds. I wish I had a burnt seed right now. Even though it takes half my health, I just eat it. Eat it. Um, eat the seeds and then eat the burn. Logic! Your heart fruit. You're an unidentified heart. Well, it did come at the end. Let's eat it. Uh, might as well eat down these seeds. There we go. Yeah, damn right, give me those glass wings back, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch and son of a bitch. Also, the other thing for me is, I never liked the Nintendo controller. I mean, my first system was a Coleco. And that was alright. And then I played some Sega Genesis. Well, then I played NES, then I played some Sega Genesis, then Turbo Graphics. And then Sega CD. But, I played some other mixed systems in there, but that's few and far between. But, like, I don't know, the ColecoVision pad, as unfunctional and obnoxious as it was, at least didn't have those goddamn pointy corners that the Nintendo one had. Like, honestly, they might as well just put, like, a ring of nails around the controller for all of its comfort. And, ugh, I hate etching, like, like, triangle shapes on D-pads. Good lord, man. I hated the original Sega Genesis pads diagonals because I like I would try to do it like in the inside corner and try to get my nail up against the bottom side of the triangle to do diagonals just because like pressing my finger into that all the time hurt like a motherfucker. It's like what am I freaking diabetic here? Like I really wanted to like No, you have nothing. You get nothing. Uh, if I really wanted to mess up my fingers that bad, I would just get diabetes. But, I don't know, it's it's really annoying. You get the little dimple on your finger. Ugh, irritating. I don't know, and people always make this, like, huge rant out of the difference between systems. And, like, I just think that much the way Xbox is a different system than PS3, and Wii is different than both of them, and... You know, obviously Xbox is different from Wii, but they all have certain games that are meant for certain people. Like, I feel like PlayStation is more of a blanket system. Like, it has good RPGs, it has, you know, like all sorts of other good games, uh, and even all basically the same action shooters you'd get on Xbox. But, like, Xbox is different, is it has a few more adult games and a few other things, but like, overall it's mostly just first person shooters. Let's, let's face reality here, like, let's open this. Oh, Hope Fluid. Dude, 
I am like saving the day with all this poke fluid and shit. And I don't know. I never felt like Nintendo systems especially ever had any game that I was really jumping to get. Like, I ended up getting an N64. Oh, fuck. Another one of those things. Yeah, you guys step on it. Good. Yeah, break it. Thank you. But, like, they were never, like, or, well, let's, let's start from the beginning because these guys are pissing me off. Um, I got an N64 and I got Mario Party, Goldeneye, like, Donkey Kong 64, like, Mortal Kombat, a bunch of other stuff. And I was just like, none of these games are fun to play by yourself. Like, there are games you can play by yourself and games you play with other people. And they can be different things. Like, it's not that hard to have, you know, separate games. But, like, even GameCube, the only reason I got a GameCube, pretty much, was to play Resident Evil. And those were pretty damn terrible. Um, and then I got... Uh, uh, shit, what's it called? Harvest Moon, which was not any better than the PS2 version. It was kind of, eh. Um, and I actually played the PS2 version more because I just liked the way it looked a lot better. I mean, not like the graphics on the GameCube one were horrible, it was just like, they had a different style and I was not a fan. But, uh, I don't know. I, like most other systems I've owned that people have suggested, especially Nintendo systems, they they like the Wii now, as in most people I know who have a Wii that's just collecting dust now because they got sick of bowling and, uh, you know, playing the Wii Play games. Um, but, like, Legend of Zelda is the same thing. Like, Ocarina of Time is okay. It, it was ugly as sin when it came out, and to this day, it's even uglier to sin. And the gameplay is not all that great, and the camera is freaking horrible. Um, and there's so many graphical glitches, it's like pathetic. But, like, even the story is contrived, because you know exactly what's going to happen. Because it's the same as every other Zelda game, and it doesn't make it good in any light to freaking cannibalize yourself so bad. But anyway, um... So, like, I play that, and there's just, like, this, I don't know, I guess this idea that, well, it's Nintendo, it has to be good, and most of the Nintendo games are pretty damn crappy. Um, and I don't know. Like, I just never liked them. Like, I had a Super Nintendo for a while, and I played the only game that I actually enjoyed, which was the Contra that pretty much came out the day the system came out, which was pretty damn awesome. I remember Contra Alien Wars. That game was pretty damn awesome. Um, but other than that, they're like few and far between. And they're just not all that fun to play. Um, I don't know. Like, I have no interest whatsoever to get a Wii. Even if I did, there's so few games that I would actually want that I the system would be more expensive than the total games that I would buy for it. Which is like, that should never be the way something is. No, you're not going to take anything from me. You're going to die and give me a heart. Uh, what can I get rid of? Let's get rid of the site. Fuck off. And I don't know. I think I have more memorable games from PlayStation 1. Oh, yes. Let's get rid of the most valuable item first. The toy box. Uh, that's the twin box. There we go. Alright. I'm making sure that I get it in there. Ah, yes. Tasty. I need the Angelic Rifle to talk to Dr. Angelus. So I can get the Littles? Seraphia or whatever? Um, anyway, uh... 
I don't know, and I had an NES for a short time, but it barely worked. And uh, the games I did play, I got so frustrated that I have to like put them in and out like nine times to get to play. And then it would have like a banner of numbers across the top, or like horrible graphical glitches, or just be a really crappy game. And I don't know, I just... The Nintendo system I loathed. And then when we got to Super Nintendo, I mean, Contra really was my favorite game. Ever. But like, beyond that, yeah, like, Chrono Trigger was nice, but it was too damn expensive. Like... I don't know. Most people don't remember actually being capable of buying Super Nintendo games. Most of them are like ideal, like it was like freaking like ninety dollars. Like fuck that, I'm paying that much for a game. And even after, like you'd go into like CVS and be like forty-five dollars when they started carrying Nintendo games for a little bit. So it was just like ah, screw it. And since I always went to Blockbuster, it was like they would never have any of the good. Super Nintendo games. It was like people would come and just pick clean the good games and then all that would be left is like friggin' Ronald McDonald's Funland or some crappy ass game like that. So it was like, eh. But I don't know. Content wise it never like satisfied gamer stuff. I mean during the end of that kind of era when Sega CD was slowly dying and all that, I spent most of my time playing PC games like Command & Conquer and stuff, because that was really when PC was getting like this huge leap forward. I mean, yeah, I played Doom on my PC, but uh, there wasn't much else. I mean, there was Hexen and Heretic and stuff, but realistically, they were all pretty much the same game, and I really wasn't into Ultima, so I don't know. That really wasn't my thing. I mean, I played my. I remember playing Might and Magic, but I think that was much later. I think I got it like after Sega CD kind of collapsed, and they came out with a horrific ass Saturn. Um, and then I had no interest in getting like the CDI or the 3DO. I had a friend who had a 3DO, and we played like maybe four games for it. And his parents like outright would say like when he'd like see an ad for a new game. He'd be like, oh my god, I want this! And then his parents would be like, oh, well, we'll go see if any store has it. And then they'd come back, or we'd go and see it, and it'd be like, $120. And would just be like, ugh. So, I don't know, most of those games are just like, let's not mess with that. And like, I don't know, all of those damn systems had, like, freaking Dragon's Lair, which I hate with the passion of a thousand songs, because it pisses me off. Um, and, like, Mad Dog McCree, which was a really boring fucking game. Like, it's upside down. No more food. Please. Please. Thank you. So see it turned into an AD code. That might be better than my vitality code. Just because the extra attack. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and go ahead. But I don't know. And like all those kind of like oh, we put real human characters into the game games just felt uncreative to me. So I was always like, bah, I don't really feel like playing. And also, God, the loading times. Oof. Like, people nowadays complain about load times, but like, like yeah, something like Metal Gear Solid 3 takes way too long to load. Just break. Thank you. And I'm about to have somebody jump on my head. Uh, no. I didn't get an N64 when it came out because everybody and their goddamn mother had that freaking system and had every, uh, like, menagerie of games for it. And, I don't know, like, it just, 
it never appealed to me. Like, Killer Instinct, I remember playing a lot of arcade games at that time. Uh, Killer Instinct was like the most butt-fugly, dysfunctional game I'd ever played, and on Super NES, it was three times as ugly and three times as unplayable. I'm sure someone will be like, oh, it was the greatest game I ever played. They're like, no, Mortal Kombat was more functional, and Mortal Kombat was not that great of a game compared to Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, which were fucking amazing. But, um, I got it at Nintendo 64 years later, and I had always been refusing to play Goldeneye, to play Goldeneye because... I just, I thought it was hideous, and someone convinced me to play it, and I got it for like $2, so I was like, whatever, no big deal. And I got Goldeneye, and I played it, and it was the most horrific piece of shit I had ever played. Like, there's about, like, 10 other games for PlayStation 1 where you could, like, do stuff like, we used to play Doom across, like, a LAN, like, because you get the little cable and hook up two PlayStations, we have two TVs, and we'd play, like, basically four-player Doom, which is pretty awesome, and Quake 2, which was a fucking thousand times better than that was, and most of those games were already out when GoldenEye came out. It was like this last-ditch effort to be like, see, Nintendo can make a good game, see? And I don't know, I just thought they were so bad, and you can't see anything in GoldenEye, and inevitably, it always ends up with a douchebag friend who gets like the remote detonation grenades, screen peeks the shit out of you, and just keeps blowing them up in your face. And it's annoying because there's nothing you can do about it because they didn't think about things like balance that are required for you know first-person shooters. But in general, it just felt so amateurish to play it. And this the single-player story was god awful. It was like like characters were hideous, even for a game of that era, and there was no reason to even remotely stay somewhat involved with the story. It was like, uh, go kill some Russians. Uh, kill these strange blackish gray blobs. And like, I don't know, I just thought it was hideous all over. And I actually hated a lot of the things about its system, but it wasn't until like Time Splitters that I saw that some of those systems could actually be halfway decent because they kind of took on that and actually made it into a, a functional game. Stay away from me. Another one of you? Yeah, I'm gonna go back and get that heart. I know, I know, backtracking is annoying. But I need all the hearts, all the heart seeds I can get. The worst part is I think it's all the way in the farthest room. And whoa, I am like way over what time I expected it to be. So let's find this heart seed. I mean, I don't know the length, the maximum length of recording on this. I don't really want to push the button, push the envelope, I should say. But yeah, I don't know. I and most other Nintendo 64 games, I either thought were butt fugly to the point of unplayableness or like the same thing that was on Nintendo that wasn't satisfying to me in you know 1989 or 90 that was not satisfied that was definitely not satisfactory later on. Did I pick it up? Do I have a? Yeah, I do have a heart seat on me. Derp. So I don't know. I was just overall like never been a big fan. So, I don't know. I'm sure somebody will say something like, Oh, you should try this game, because it's really good. But I also remember, like, <laughs> in, like, elementary school with a bunch of friends, and I remember being like, Oh, I have this game for Genesis. And they'd be like, Oh, you have a Genesis? That system sucks. Everything about it sucks. It's like, have you ever played a Genesis? Like, name one game, and they're like, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm like, I do not justify the entirety of Nintendo entirely to Mario. So, don't assume that, you know, that's the only game for Sega Genesis. And also, there were games on Genesis that really did not have an equivalent that were amazing. Like Gunstar Heroes that I recently, recently played, which that game, still today, looks 
also kind of spot the play. So, I don't know. I mean, you can't say much for other games. That's really what you can hope for if you're making games. Is that like 10 years from now someone can still play the game. I mean, that's like some PC games are like downright unplayable now. You know, whatever. I'll eat a little bit of you I don't care. I have to waste both those seeds. I should have thrown them out. Alright, well, you know what? We found the heart seed that wasn't there. So, I will continue this in the next episode of Let's Play Baroque with me, Mark Dice. See you later!